$1,000. Right now, the leading loose cannon to beat is Gonzalez Cannon. And again, yes, that's his real name. And all I have to say is talk to Chris Moneymaker. Rick Solomon's put out a sleeper straddle, which becomes live if no one raises before it gets to him. Action will start on Randy Lou. Folds. Big sleeper straddle to 2K this time. Action on the cannon. Is that a 2K straddle? Now we're talking. <laughs> Folds. Did you really do that? You are sick, kid. Wow. Queen three for Daniel. Raises to 4,000. Oh, I like this. Daniel's no. in position trying to isolate Rick, who plays huge, but is still an amateur. Lock folds. Ace queen for Kenny. Makes the call. Solomon's getting ridiculous pot odds. And calls 2,000 with king eight. So we'll have three way action to the flop. Look at Bryn Kenny. He doesn't care, he's a baller. 5-4-5 five, five, rainbow. Kenny checks. Solomon checks. Daniel going for some chips. And bets 6,000. Kenny's got the best hand with ace-queen high. And he's in there. Solomon folds. Daniel's drawing very thin. Eight of spades on the turn. Rick would have paired his eight. And Kenny checks. Daniel, raise pre-flop, bet the flop. Let's see if he continues here on the turn. I'm always blabbing on and on about the power of position. Maybe Daniel will use it. And he does, bets two-thirds of the pot. This is actually a pretty big bet from Daniel. Bryn looks suspicious, and we know he'd be right. Daniel was raising Rick's straddle in position, so his range is very wide. But the counter to that is that this board does hit a lot of the hands Daniel likes to play. And Bryn's way behind, even to a combo draw. He's going to make the call. Don't look now, but our first pot of the night is getting pretty big. To the river. Deuce of hearts, big brick. And Kenny checks. We don't see a three-barrel bluff from Daniel too often. Bryn's been pretty stubborn. I'm not even sure one would work. Daniel does three barrel, 85,000. That deuce didn't really bring in a lot of draws. If Kenny thought he was good on the turn, he might be able to make this call still, but that's a pretty sick bet. Not only does Daniel not three barrel very often, but I can't remember the last time I saw him over bet the river on a bluff. Kenny folds. <laughs> that's one of those, right, Phil? That was fun to watch. Not so fun for Kenny. 